Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat Evolution. And in this episode of our season as Casey Mears in his number 13 Geico Chevrolet, we're going to be completing race 2 of 36, which is the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500 at Atlanta Motor Speedway. And I still, uh, to this day, I think that is what this race is called. So last episode, race at Daytona, easily won the Daytona 500. We really didn't have that much competition, except for maybe Clint Boyer passing me couple cautions that I didn't cause. Um, a very underwhelming beginning of this Let's Play, but now we're going to a place where these AI will really fuck you up. I just finished watching the Talladega playoff race of 2020, obviously, that's when this is being recorded. And yellow line bullshit. I mean, to be honest, like five drivers have been penalized right there, realistically speaking. Otherwise, don't penalize anybody because they're all in in this shit together. But let, let's go race at Atlanta and try not to die. We're probably gonna die. So here we are at Atlanta Motor Speedway, the fastest uh, one and a half mile track. At least I think it still was back in 2016. These days, they changed so much with the aero package that I don't even know what the fastest what is anymore. Why is Jamie Murray always behind me? I mean, he drives the one car, but I drive the 13 car, so yeah, I have the Casey Mirror supremacy. You know, whatever driver you pick um, is supreme to all other drivers. It is the most important. Yet they don't let you win a championship. I remember. I, I remember. What if racing got this game? And he's doing his career mode let's play, and he had to do two seasons or whatever, because Joey Logano or Kyle Busch, I don't know, some driver that you know he hates, wound up winning the championship with the dumb championship for format. But he came around and got the championship the next time. Meanwhile, everybody else was able to win the championship the very first try just because the game has such a ridiculous amount of rubber banding in career mode. I mean, if you put it there, it does. I think you could put it on 105 difficulty in career mode. I'm going to make it three wide because I'm not smart. Oh, my goodness. You know, I could just... Why are you doing this, Eric Jones? Why, why are you doing this 93 card that I don't know who drives? They, they don't want to let me race, do they? I mean, I'll make it three wide... I try to hold my line, but there's so much weeble wobble once you get into the corner and start steering. And then it really sticks to wherever it's going in the corner. You can let off the gas, or you can just bulldoze it in there, but it, it settles in, in an exact way of taking the corner. Um, I hear it's still there so much when I play this game that I really could just call every episode of this series still there, part, etc. It would be still there part one, and then we can just call part two, part three, and so on. Oh my god! I love this. This is fucking hilarious. This is, this is, um, 2016 style of, of comedy. Please don't hit me. Ryan Ellis, who the fuck are you? Why are you here? Oh my goodness, this incomplete prospect. Oh, we're going. We're going in the top lane. We're making it three wide. You're gonna crush me in the wall. I mean, if you give them the lead way to do it, they do it, and that, I, mean, I don't really have a choice, but there he goes. I should just get to the inside and pass cars that way, but I don't really have an option right now. <laughs> oh, I love you. Please don't. Please don't, seven car. Regan Smith. Yeah, Regan Smith is still in NASCAR around this time. You, you can't run at the outside Atlanta. I mean, you can if you're battling one car, but... You, uh, everything has to be on the inside. It's freaking Atlanta. It's supposed to be two lanes. You can't do anything in the other lane. AI can. You can't. But one on one, you can do whatever you want to. They'll throw in a caution for that guy. He's driving like a fucking potato brain moron. I'm back up on the outside again. How do I put myself in this situation? What am I doing? What? How do I get up here? I don't want to be up here. I just want to be where you can pass cars. Man, that guy checked up for me. That's some shit that I. Didn't start seeing until NASCAR E4. I don't know when they started doing that in this game. I would really like to get to the inside. I really would. That would increase my happiness levels. Oh, my lord. You know I'm going to get popped into the wall or some shit again. Oh. Tell me to do something that I've been doing for the past three fucking laps. Ding dong. Please don't put me in the wall, and Ed. Instead of putting me in the wall, he backs off. See, but I didn't know they do that in this game. Or maybe I forgot, because I didn't play it that much. 
be some online racing in there. I tried playing it for like two hours. I wrecked like every first three laps of the Texas race, and I was like, okay, I'm not playing this game again for a long time. I'm getting to the inside. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Oh my god, that was a bad idea. But it worked. It worked. Who is that 95 car? McDowell? McDowell still drive the 95 car in 2016? I don't know. Landon Castle? No, it's Landon Castle with 34 cars. I have no idea. And I don't care, really. I just like the 95 car. See, I told you. We could pass somebody on the outside. One car. I can do that with one car. Not like five. Still there. So keeping it on the throttle. Just enough to not hit the wall. But not so little that I just go right down the track. I pass somebody on the outside. See, I can do that like one car at a time. Now the field is so damn split up. I, I just wish I had passed a bunch of cars in the bottom while we were close together and everything. And then I can just pass them wherever the hell I want to throughout the rest of the run. Eric Jones is not even supposed to be a Cup Series driver in this game. I swear he's not. Did so all these Truck Series, Xfinity Series, Pinty Series, K and N, Arca, wherever the hell they come from, and they just stuff the roster with them. Okay, so twenty fourth, um, one by one, little by little. There's going to be some caution caused by the AI themselves anyway, you know it. Um, pass Chris Busher on the inside. I like that you have to variate. I just, I hate that when you're on the outside in traffic, you're doomed. You're going to hit the wall, you're going to hit cars, and you're probably going to wreck and die. you got to really have skill with the wheel to, to not in that situation. In some tracks, no matter how much skill you, skill you have, you get split, and then there's ping pong, and then you die, and you go flipping and flying instantly. Here we got 31 to go, so we've complete uh, 11 laps in the race, I guess. And there's Greg Biffle. He, was, uh, he could have finished second at Daytona, but he decided to pit. I don't know why, because we all pit at the same time. I got my full tank of fuel and was able to make it to the end. But now he's in the middle of the field, and he, yeah, he's still there, by the way, in case you didn't know. Shut up. I mean, you're not wrong, but shut up. I, I hate you. Can you even turn him off? I mean, I'm sure you could turn him off. If you can, I don't want to because he's annoying and it makes this miserable experience uh, completely miserable, not just some half ass miserable. Are people pitting? You know, I was just about to make a cut instead of talking my head off like I have for like the the entirety of this race, but people are pitting. I didn't realize our runs were that short. It is on four times where and whatever. It's just I'm not used to it. I, I'm not used to it because we always got stages, and I forget just how short our runs would be if we didn't have stages. I was practicing here for Atlanta earlier, and people started pitting, and the guy in front of me was zigzagging. It was strange, and it made me uncomfortable. I've got one lap left in the field. Let's pit this time. Probably going to spin trying to pit road or something. I don't know. I'm just going to take it very, very easy. Okay, that should do it. That should do it. I really don't think it matters. So we just passed a, a bunch of cars how slow they get on pit road. We're probably going to gain positions anyways. That's what happened in practice. Okay, so I don't know if I have damage or not. If it is, it's not very much, but go ahead. We'll get four tires. Full tank of fuel, and we'll come on, um, having gained like 10 spots, and then we won't have speed anymore. <laughs> I, I don't know what that was. This is a fast pit stop. I got 16.2 in practice, 15.6 this time. But uh, yeah, when I was practicing, we came back onto the track, and I was like in the top 10, but I had no speed anymore. Like they were just blowing past me, and I'm like, what the fuck? They aren't very fast off pit road, so I could pass. Maybe I'll pass Ryan Blaney. Just stay on the apron. We can. But look, see, like, they're slow off pit road. There's that. I'm sorry, Casey Kane. Oh, my God. You know, I was the one that would have been sorry in that situation. But after pit stops, we're 10th. Told you. Top 10. Well... 
At least the crew chief was right. Trouble in turn two, and then immediately afterwards a caution. Uh, we did just pit, but I don't know if it'd be do any good to pit again this early into my next run. We got some people pitting. Uh, like five, six cars maybe. But uh, most of the field is not. We're going to stick with the intelligent strategy. I mean, I mean they're doing it. It's got to be intelligent. Now, let's see if we can use some restart speed to um, pass some of these guys. Now they're all bunched together. It might be easier to gain actual track position for the meanwhile. And this could be a good thing for us because a bunch of them feel back together and whenever I gain time on pit road, I can actually slingshot significantly ahead of almost all these guys, considering what just happened a while ago. But that also means I have to worry about people being up my ass whenever I'm trying to enter pit road. You saw how I entered pit road the first time. You know that we're going to have trouble if I've got cars around me whenever I'm trying to do that. Gosh, it's just... They've got so much more grip than me up here. I was faster than the guys in the back and the middle and all that. But up here, I'm just not a thing. I, I'm not a thing. I am just sitting around being my own little lizard self. Hi, Matt Kinsey. Oh my god, how much I miss Matt Kinsey. I mean, he's, he's racing these days, but he's not competitive and he's driving not really that great equipment. I like it whenever Matt Kinsey drives yellow cars. He's supposed to drive yellow cars. Or a blue car. He's got his AT&T car and his sheetrock car. I just like Matt Kinseth in yellow cars. Matt Kinseth is a yellow person. Please do not take that out of context. I, you know what I mean, right? Okay, so we passed Kinseth, and good God! They just, they can carry so much speed into these corners. My, my car, oh God, we, I don't like this. I don't like this. Okay, we're good. We'll clear Del Mar Jr. I, just, I don't like how they can carry so much more speed into the corners than me. And they just keep it in there, and meanwhile I'm going slower, and I'm going up the track. And they were doing that even whenever we had fresh tires, so it's just strange how much better their cars are set up, or the better their cars are, something along those lines. I mean, so far we've gained one spot. I can't even keep it on Kinseth, I'm trying to. Oof, 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 JC, give, give it up, give it up. I'm trying to, and he's not letting me. Now, now you're forcing it. Well. Pick it! Do you want it, or do you not want it? Oh. Okay, we're back to ninth again. There they go. It's kind of strange. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Ryan Newman! Ryan Newman! And now I'm getting split. Great. I'm still getting split. Car, please stop wiggling. And then there comes Denny Hamlin. Denny fucking Hamlin. And I'm totaled. They could have thrown a caution ages ago for Ryan Newman driving straight into the wall. Oh, stop hitting me. Well, what does it matter? I have to go to the back of the field anyways, and um, we only got one run left in the race. I, I think that we don't have any pit stops after this one right here. Um, maybe I won't lose too much track position after repairing this damage? Never mind. I lost 22 spots. I avoided the wreck, and then I got wrecked anyways by someone else. I am going to drive around you. And a bunch of these guys came out in front of me. I know I repaired a bunch of damages. There's a possibility that some of these guys are on more tires or something. I could stand a chance. I'm just gonna pass as many cars as possible. Please don't touch me. Go away. Okay. And why why is this guy in front of me 40th? What? Did it just say that someone else in front of me was second? What the hell is going on? I am so confused right now. 36th. And then now Eric Almarola's wrecking. Can that be a caution? Uh please? I mean I don't know if I really want that to be a caution. Because we're just skipping laps. Okay, well now I'll get my lap back. So yeah, I did want that. That means we're that mean that means we're skipping laps. 
I'm pressing X. I said I don't want to pit. Oh. This is dumb. I'm enjoying how dumb this is, even though it's annoying. What are you, what are you waiting for? I need to put the X thing at the bottom once it was already over. You couldn't do that while we were doing that. So we got a green-white checker. I'm back on the lead lap. I don't know if it means anything. I'm going to pull some absolutely stupid restart shit. It worked. It, was not, it wasn't good, but I did it, and it worked. It says we got three laps to go. We have two laps to go. It's a green-white checker, but we got three laps to go, not two. It's not a green-white checker. That's a green, green-white checker. Ah. Ellis, get out of the way. I'm trying. Let's use all this time we have. Can we please stop having people wreck into the outside wall in three? That'd be great. If that never happened at all, I think we'd have been perfectly fine. I think so. You? If people weren't wrecking into the wall, we would be fine. we have been stuck in ridiculous traffic jams just before pit stops. Oh my god, we're going. So yeah, now it's two to go. This is not a green-white check. Oh, I'm letting off so I can hold the bottom. It is not working. Oh, I don't want to go to the outside. Get me out of the outside, you dumb car with no front down force. We're going. We're going. I'm not even making up positions anymore. How am I not making up positions anymore? I didn't pit. I was lapped down. I didn't pit. I got no wave around. What the fuck? I don't know. So it, that's why I said three laps to go. Because I was lapped down still. Why was I lapped down still? I don't fucking know. I don't know why I was ever lapped down to begin with. I was never lapped down. There are your race results. Casey Kane wins, and Denny Hamlin finishes in second. I am very frustrated with Denny Hamlin for throwing me into the outside wall, bringing out the caution, and pretty much ruining the rest of my race. It really did. I, I just I don't know why I was lapped down. You know, I could have finished better than 34th if I wasn't lapped down. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is our points leader with 69 points. Nice. And I am in 10th. I actually, we have a, a four-way tie for 8th place. And then a tie between Harvick and Labonte for 6th. So, I mean, we're still within reaching distance to, to gain some spots and, and stay up here and try to get back to the points lead before the end of the regular season. And I don't think it really matters in the end. I, I won Daytona, so I'm still locked in. Now, Casey Kane is locked in. I mean, Casey Kane won a race in 2017? I don't know, 2016. I think he won in 2017. So, it's okay if he wins a race. That doesn't make, that doesn't just not make sense. I'll see you guys next time for the Cobalt 400 at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, where maybe I won't get dabbed into an outside wall and we can stay on the lead lap and get a decent top 10, top 5 finish. I was on my way to at least a top 10 finish, but then Denny Hamlin happened. See you next time, that's that, and episode over.